My name is Brother Richard Hartz. I am uh, the Director of Development and Alumni Relations at Chaminade High School. I've been on the faculty for 51 years and also am a graduate of German here for the past 51 years. In the community, I'm a member of the Community Council uh, and a member of the community. Good. On the last day of school every year, I tell my seniors that when graduation day comes, our relationship is going to change. It's going to change from teacher-student to friends. And uh, having been a teacher now for 51 years, I have a lot of friends. Some of the challenges and joys that I've had of li living in community, the joys are the brothers and uh, living together, working together, uh, seeing each other grow. And I guess at the same time, those are also the challenges too. Um, our challenges come from living with each, with each other, growing with each other, living with our own limitations and weaknesses and living with each other's limitations and weaknesses. It's just like a marriage. Man and woman come together and they wake up the first morning and the weaknesses start to show. And as the years go on, they continue uh, but they have to remain faithful in spite of that. And it's exactly the same in a religious community. I remember my novitiate prefect, Brother James Kilroy, used to say, find your happiness in your fellow brothers. And I think that's been an important lesson throughout my whole religious life. In my prayer life, the, the things that have been important uh, Sometimes prayer life is hard, uh, but I think one of the things that I've learned over the years is when, when I go to chapel to pray, the thing that I want to do now is simply be in the presence of Mary and Jesus and be aware of that presence. And if that's the case, you don't really worry anymore about what are you going to say, what are you going to hear, but it's a matter of being. I'm always reminded of something that uh, our novice master told us, an analogy that he made years ago. He said when uh, a married couple gets old, they can sit on the porch next to each other for hours, not say a word, but all sorts of communication happens because they know each other, they're aware of each other, they're aware of each other's presence. And that's almost the expression of love between them. And that has to happen to us in our relationship with God and our relationship with Our Lady. That we come to the point in our lives that the words don't really matter anymore. The words are much less important than the being. Being in their presence and being with them, and being aware of their presence. Any need that I have, any problem, any difficulty, if I bring it to her and have confidence, she's going to take care of it. She does. And that's been my experience through my whole life. And if we can give that same experience as Marianists to the people that we come in contact with, to the students that we teach, we're going to be giving them something that's going to carry them through their whole lives.